Hi, I'm Freddie from Nugent Audio, and today I'm talking about Paragon. Paragon is a convolution reverb, but it uses a new method of convolution developed by Dr. Jez Wells at the University of York. Most convolution reverbs will use things like time stretching if you're adjusting the decay time or the room size, for example. Instead of time stretching, Paragon uses resynthesis. So essentially, whenever you adjust one of those settings, it generates a whole new impulse response based on the original authentic impulse response. So that means that you don't get the same kind of artifacts that you might get when using time stretching. Let's take a look around the UI, and then after that, I'll show you how it sounds. So on the main panel, you've got all your obvious reverb settings. You've got your pre-delay, decay time, room size, brightness. You've also got mic distance, which adjusts the balance of the early and late reflections. You have a high pass and low pass filter in the top left, and you have a crosstalk control in the top right. Crosstalk essentially dictates how much bleed there is between channels. So that's how much dry audio from one channel is being sent elsewhere, and how much of the wet signal from other channels is coming into each channel. You'll understand it once you've checked it out for yourself. The next panel is the IR panel. So here you can see the impulse response. I'm currently using the stairwell IR and then you have the modifier. This allows you to adjust the amplitude of certain frequencies within the impulse response, so that's essentially like an EQ. You can also adjust the frequency specific decay time. So a really good way of using that is if you have a long reverb, for example, on a vocal, and you don't want to reduce the reverb time overall, but you do want to get a bit more clarity, you could zone in specifically on the fundamental frequencies of that person's voice and reduce the decay time just for those frequencies. So that's a really flexible way of using, um, using Paragon to kind of tidy up your mix. Beyond that, you have the I.O. panel. This is the stereo version of Paragon, so you only have two channels here in the I.O., but Paragon can run in up to 712 channels. So here you have control over individual pre-delay for each channel, you can set the decay time individually for each channel, and you can set the crosstalk individually for each channel. So it's really, really sculptable, really tweakable. You can make it sound like pretty much any space you could come up with. So, I'm going to play this drum loop, first of all, without Paragon. So this is just a, a pretty simple drum machine loop. Now I'm going to turn Paragon on, and I'll run through a few different settings so you can hear how that sounds. This one is based on the Zeppelin drums preset, although I have tweaked it somewhat, and you'll notice that the drum machine itself doesn't really sound very much like John Bonham. I'm aware of that, don't worry. This is the public library preset. So here's the cave entrance preset. So needless to say, a lot of these are really useful for audio post if you're mixing for TV and film, as well as music. Um, and as with all of our surround products, this can be used as part of a Dolby Atmos mix. If you have any questions, then please feel free to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thank you.